Good evening, church. Oh, Jesus, we stand in awe of your presence, oh God. Hallelujah. Shall we pray, brothers and sisters in the Lord? Oh, God, we thank you for your presence in our midst tonight. Indeed, oh God, we stand in awe, Lord, of your great love for us. Of how, Lord, you paid the penalty of all our sins in that cross. And you cried out, Lord, it is finished. It is paid in full. But it was not finished in the cross. Hallelujah. On the third day, O oh God, you rose again from the dead. Hallelujah. Declaring victory, O oh God, over sin and over death. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for that life, abundant life that is in Christ. Jesus, we ask for your presence tonight. We ask for your Holy Spirit to speak to us tonight. Let your word be preached, O oh God. Anoint your speaker, O oh God. And then also, Lord, anoint the hearers of your word that everything we hear tonight, Lord, it will indeed, Lord, bless us, feed us, correct us, rebuke us, O oh God, and strengthen us, O oh God, in Christ Jesus. Thank you for your presence, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, we are now on the last chapter of uh, the book of Corinthians, which is First Corinthians 16. And we will be talking about uh, the topic of the, the title of the message of the Lord tonight is Be on Your Guard. Be on Your Guard. Hallelujah. And that's from First Corinthians uh, 16, verse 13 and 14. It says, Be on Your Guard. Stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong, do everything in love. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Um, in the last chapter of the, uh, of the letter of Paul, it is parang conclusion na, no? the conclusion of his letter. Right? You will see there uh, from... Um, some commentarians said that when he, Paul wrote verse 13 and 14, there's, there's like a, an outburst of emotion. Because in the beginning of chapter 16, he talks about collection of money to help for the Judean believers who are at that time experiencing famine and uh, persecution. Right? And, in, and uh, b- before we go to our... Um, Text, brothers and sisters in the Lord, you really see here the heart of a man of God. Because when he said, collect money, you know, sometimes today when people when hear that, collect money, oh, money na naman. Oh, money again. Right? But if you read chapter 16, even Paul said, collect them, you know, every week. Don't collect them right away, like one time. Collect them every week. Ipunin, kumbaga, put it in... In, in one, you know, uh, save it, kumbaga, right? So that when I come, you don't have to collect right away. But he, you know what he said? And choose men who will bring the money to Judea. You see that? Right? Today, many, many preachers are collect money and give it, collect money now and give it to me. Right, but you see the heart of man, the heart of God, in the man, of, in the in, in the life of Paul. He said, "No, I don't. Don't collect it right away. Collect it slowly. But choose men that will bring the money. Right. So it makes sense now that Paul says, be on your guard.' He also is actually guarding his own heart because you know uh, he could do it." I'm, I have no doubt that Paul can bring the money himself. But for the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ, and for his sake, rather not touch the money. Right? He's guarding his own heart, actually. Amen? Hallelujah. And he mentioned about names there, especially when we jump on when he mentioned about uh, um, Timothy. When Timothy comes to you, don't give him don't give him a hard time 
<laughs> right? Did you also see there the fatherly, uh, the fatherly love of a man of God. Amen. He will visit you and encourage you, right? And but when he gets there, don't give him a hard time. I think that's uh, um, where is that? Uh, verse ten, right? When Timothy comes, see to it that he has nothing to fear when he is with you, for he's carrying on the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. I think this is also for all of us today, right? When the man of God, um, when kasama na yung mga pastors doon and the teachers, right? don't give them a hard time. They're laboring for the Lord. Amen? Hallelujah. And how many are blessed that we have men and women of God who truly serve the Lord in our church. Hallelujah. Amen? I love when our pastor says, they are faceless, nameless, and payless. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen? Because actually the best, uh, the best payment, kumbaga, the best reward is not money, but the presence of God. Hallelujah. Amen? So, Lord, thank you for men and women of God, beginning from our pastors, O oh God, to those who are sharing the word of God, in the Bible studies, sharing the word of God uh, to friends. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we pray. Hallelujah for many more uh, laborers, oh God. Hallelujah. And so Paul, when Paul, that's why, he, uh, I, I guess that's why some of the commentarians said it was, there was an outburst of emotion because from that, Paul in verse 13 says, be on guard. Be on your guard. Amen? Be on your guard. Stand firm in faith. Be courageous. Be strong. And the word be on your guard is actually to keep awake. Right? Yung bang, in the middle of the night, you're still awake. In the middle of the darkness, kumbaga. You are awake. You are prepared. You are watchful. Amen? Vigilant. To keep awake and to watch. Um... This is not just for the Corinthians, but for all of us today, especially. Amen? Because f- from the be- beginning that we surrender our life to the Lord, brothers and sisters in the Lord, we are number one in the lineup of the attack from Satan, from the enemy. Right? Whether we like it or not, we are, kumbaga, sabi nga ni Paul sa Ephesians 6, uh, we always be prepared because we are battling. Our battle is not against flesh and blood. We always be prepared. Amen. Guard your heart. Guard your life in the Lord. Hallelujah. Be watchful. Even Jesus said in Matthew twenty five thirteen, be watchful because you don't know when the time comes. For the coming of the Lord. Be watchful. Amen. He's talking about, I think, uh, verse 20, um, Matthew 25 talk is, was talking about the virgins. Remember? Watch. Because five of them did not watch. Right? We, they were not prepared. So when the Lord came, they were not prepared. It's too late. Amen. So prepare all the time. Hallelujah. This is what the Lord is saying. To, to, to always put on. Hallelujah. Because whether we like it, brothers and sisters in the Lord, the enemy in First Peter chapter 5, verse 8, it says, Be alert and sober mind. Of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil. Your enemy, the devil. Prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Hallelujah. Resist him. Resist him, standing firm in faith. Hallelujah. Amen? Resist him and standing firm in faith. <coughs> Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Hallelujah. That word stand firm in the faith means be stationary. Wagang wagang takbo dito, takbo dun. Kumbaga. Amen? Don't run 
from this place to that place, seeking for a shelter, be stationary in Christ. Para yung sinasabi from the Old Testament pa lang, no? Uh, stand still and know that He is God. Don't keep running, running around and around and around seeking. Right? Stand firm in the faith. Meaning, stand firm in your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, in His Word. Amen? Brothers and sisters in the Lord, it's getting dark. And it's getting darker all the more. Hallelujah. I was just watching a... There was a, a podcast. I think it was a podcast. A YouTube podcast. And they were talking about big denominations. And one of the biggest denominations, I don't know if I even want to, to put their, I, I, I don't need probably to put their, to, to say the name. One of the, one of the biggest denominations are splitting. Why? Because of um, immorality. One says it's okay. And the other said, no, we, we keep the word of God. That's where our foundation is. That's where our that's where our security is. We cannot we cannot we cannot stand without the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Sorry, Paul. Hallelujah. See? During kahit nagbi-preach ka mayroong tumatawag. Brabing distraction. Amen. We didn't even just studying the word of God. Hallelujah. And in fact, the Lord Jesus Christ himself, he said, stand firm in his word because that's the only thing that will keep you from falling. Amen. Remember in his last part of his Sermon on the Mount in Matthew chapter 7, the foolish and the wise builders. The difference is not, not just the hearing, but the other one obeying. Right? If you listen to my word and obey it, he said, you were like a man, a, a, a wise man who builds his house on the rock. And he contrasted it to the man who, who, who is a foolish builder, listens to the word of God, but do not obey. Hallelujah. Amen? What a difference, isn't it? The other one standing firm on the word of God, trusting Lord, you said it, you will do it. Hallelujah. We can trust, oh God, at whatever promise you made, you will, you will complete it, oh God. Amen. Standing firm in the word of God. And that's the only thing that will guard our heart, that will keep us immovable. Especially on the last days, brothers and sisters in the Lord. Hallelujah. I was really, uh, I was really, Lord, there is, uh, uh, parang kabigatan sa puso ba? Lord, what's going on with the church? This is supposed to be the church, one of the big names of the one of the denominations that brought the gospel to to many nations, but now they are accepting immorality in the church. Imagine that. Amen? And so that's why when we, I read, when we read the, the word of God, um, First Corinthians is almost 2,000 years also. It's, uh, it was written uh, 50, 55, 54 AD. Just Around, if Jesus died around AD 30, so the Corinthian church was the Corinthian uh, writing, if I'm not mistaken, 60 or 65. Somewhere there. So 30 years long, no? From the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It was written almost 2,000 years ago, but yet it's still so relevant in our time today. Hallelujah. Stand firm. Be on guard. Stand firm in your faith. Hallelujah. Persevere. Trust with confidence in the word of God. Hallelujah. Because that alone will guard you 
and will keep you from falling. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit will make, make that clear in our heart. That's, if we listen to Pastor Alex, one of his topic was that. To bring us to the word of Jesus. Amen. To remind us of his word. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. To remind us of him and his word. Hallelujah. Stand firm in faith. And be courageous. Be men. Hallelujah. The, the, um, the original word actually says, Magpakalalaki ka. Parang ganun, no? Be men. Or act like a mature. Ibig sabihin, huwag kang babalik ulit sa pagkabata. Be like mature men. Amen? Hallelujah. Be courageous and act like men. Be courageous. Di ba yun ang sabi ni Lord kay, kay Joshua? Amen? Let's read Joshua. If you remember Joshua, he's in chapter 1. <coughs> 6 says, Be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land. I swore to their ancestors to give them. Right? Be, be strong because you will lead these people the land I swore. Kung baga pinapaalala ni, ni Lord kay Joshua, you will lead these people to the promise I have paid. Hallelujah. Amen? Be strong and be courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you, do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Hallelujah. Imagine. Amen? Ang habilin ni, ni, ni Lord kay Joshua, don't go left and right. Hallelujah. Amen? Oh Lord, I don't want to be in the Democrat or the Republican side. I want to be in the Lord's side. Amen? Because, huwag oh, magalit yung mga Republican, ha? <laughs> it's a Democrat dyan. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lord, there's only one winning side. Hallelujah. And that's in the, in the Lord Jesus Christ. To obey His word, to trust in His word. And ang sabi ni Lord, you will be successful in all you do. Hallelujah. Trusting and obeying His word. Hallelujah. <coughs> Meditate on the... Meditate on the Word of God, amen, day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written on it. Hallelujah. Lord, my Lord, my Lord, help us indeed, hallelujah, to stand firm in faith, trusting in your Word alone. Trusting on the promises of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yun din ang sinabi ni Paul. Man, if, uh, Ephesians 6, verse 10. He says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Oh, that I love that. Hallelujah. Our strength is not from us. Amen? But be strong in His, be strong in the Lord in His mighty power. Hallelujah. The man who walks in submission to the Lord will be able to stand whatever comes. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So Paul is reminding the church, reminding the, the Corinthian church. Because, because as we know, brothers and sisters in the Lord, the Corinthian church has so many problems. Right? That's why he wants to remind them, go back to the word of God. Kasi mayroon silang faction, my division, my adultery, my idolatry, right? And reminding the church, I go back. Be strong and stand in what the Lord has given you, His Word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kasi yun ang nangyari sa kanila, no po? They, they are... Uh, if you read the whole chapter, the whole First Corinthians, brothers and sisters in the Lord, oh Lord, there's divisions, there's factions like I'm a Paul, I'm Peter, like, and then there's immorality, right? And they're even suing each other. Like, Lord, it really sounds like the U.S. today. 
suing each other. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters suing each other. Amen? Like, oh my Lord, oh my Lord, hallelujah. We have, you know, thank God for, the, for uh, godly men and women. Thank you for our pastors. Hallelujah. Because at one time, we... Uudyukan ka kapatid, right? Nag-utang sa'yo, di ka binayaran. Isumo. Right? You go, you go. You, you, you get a lawyer. But he, he, she was... The, the, the person who owed money is also a brother in the Lord or a sister in the Lord. Di ko na lang sabihin kung lalaki at babae. Amen? But, Lord, paano yun? And we, we went to our pastor and said, you know what? Hindi, hindi maganda ng kristyano pupunta sa pagan court and let them decide. What testimony is that? Hallelujah. Amen? You ra- it's, it's, it's better to rather be offended. Hallelujah. And so we, we wrestled in the Lord. Lord, medyo malaki-laki. <laughs> well, you know what? The Lord was actually speaking to the heart. Alam mo kung bakit malaki yun? Kasi pinahalagahan mo na yung pera kaysa sa relationship. And so, Lord, we will give it to you. Hallelujah. Binayaran ni Lord. Amen? Si Lord ang nagbigay ng bihaya. Amen? Hallelujah. So, blessed be the name of the Lord. So, look, look at how look at how um, relevant the word of God really to us, brothers and sisters in the Lord. That's why, Lord, help us to stand on your word. Because that alone, hallelujah, will keep us from falling. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put on the full armor, sabi nga ni, no? Uh, sabi ni Paul, put on the full armor of God. Lord, help us to put the armor of God, not 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 under anong tawag yun yung under <laughs> under arm guard <laughs> the, put on the full armor of god hallelujah and I, I think it was pastor alex who who pointed it out that when when you say the full armor of god is actually you put god in everything hallelujah amen the full armor of god is actually putting him in everything hallelujah for example, no. For example, the belt of truth. Sino ang truth? Si Jesus. Amen. So Lord, I put Jesus in my standard of truth. I will not put any truth. I will not listen to any truth but Jesus alone. Amen. Hallelujah. Breastplate of righteousness. Who is my righteousness? But Christ and Christ alone. I will not stand in my own righteousness, but stand in the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. Like, wow, Lord. Breast, oh, buckle, buckle of, belt pala, belt of truth. Breastplate of righteousness. And with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace, of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Si Lord pa rin. Word the Lord. Hallelujah. In addition to this, take up the shield of faith. Who, who shall we put our faith? Si Jesus lahat nga. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh God, Lord. Which extinguish all flaming arrows of the evil one. And take the helmet of salvation. Oh, it has to be in the head. Yung helmet. Right? Of salvation. Hallelujah. Because He alone is our salvation. Hallelujah. In times of trouble, we will not run to anywhere and to anything. Because He alone is our salvation. Hallelujah. And the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Who is that Word? wow, Lord, Ibig sabihin, from your head to toe, cover it with the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, 
be in control. That's what Paul is saying also with, with the Corinthians. Stand firm in the faith. And be courageous. Stand on it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maasahan ang salita ng Panginoon. Amen? Hallelujah. And, and when all of these are done, don't forget to do everything in love. Hallelujah. Amen? It, it, uh, the, the root of all we do should be from our relationship with God. God. Love for God and love for others. It is like the spring in which all we do flow from. Yun yung doon buk- ang bukal ng lahat. Hallelujah. Pag-ibig ng Panginoon. Hallelujah. Amen? Of our public or private ministry. Lord, dapat magbingin sa pag-ibig mo. Hallelujah. Amen? Empower us by your love. Sustain, sustain us by your love. And immerse us in your love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May nagsabi na isa lang daw ang pinakasimple rules. Sabi niya, If everything is done through love, it will be done well. Amen. Kung lahat daw ginawa natin sa pag-ibig ng Panginoon, lahat gagawin mo. Mabut, tama at mabuti. Hallelujah. Well done ba? Hindi, hindi. Hindi medium well. Amen. It will be well done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Kasi ta, uh, if, if, remember in First Corinthians, balikan natin, kapatid. Amen. Even if I speak in tongues of angels and of men, without love, nothing. Hallelujah. You will be just a resounding, uh, resounding gong or clanging cymbal. Amen. Masakit sa tenga. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you tr- if you understand what it means, uh, stand close to the cymbal and somebody, right? It's annoying. Tapos mayroon pang for a long time. <laughs> and if I have faith, can move mountain, prophesy. Hallelujah. But without the love of God, it profit me nothing. Even if I give all that I possess. Hallelujah. Amen? That's why napakaganda kapatid stand firm in faith be on guard trust in the word of God hallelujah and whatever you do do it in love hallelujah kasi pag totoo nga naman no if you do everything in love you will do it patiently amen you will do it kindly Remember, love is patient, love is kind. Kaya pag gumawa ka lang, whatever, in, in, whatever is it, it is pala. Pasensya na po. Whatever it is, in, 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 in your service to the Lord, you will do it, if you'll do it with love, that love that comes from the Lord, you will do it patiently, kindly, and you'll do it without envy. Right? There's wala nang competition. Hallelujah. You know, you will you no longer say, Oh, I do it better, Lord. No, I, I do it for God anyway. Hallelujah. I do it the best. Amen. You will do it without envy. You will do it without boasting. And you will do it in humility. Because love is not proud. Amen. Hallelujah. And your service, you will do it without dishonoring others. Hindi ka maninirang puri, kumbaga. Hallelujah. Amen? It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. Lord, pag, pag gumawa ka ng para sa Panginoon, hindi ka, na, hindi ka nagagalit. Lalo pag walang pumansin. <laughs> Amen? Lord, it's for you anyway. Hallelujah. Amen? 
and you keep no records of wrong. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. And you'll do it truthfully. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That's why um, in 1 Corinthians 14, verse 1, Paul said, follow the way of love. Hallelujah. And going back to, I remember the message of um, Pastor Abadet. Ayaw niya ng Pastor Okay, Ate Abadet. Madugong pagtutuloy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Right? Um, it's uh, it's it's actually saying, Lord, it's, it's, yung love, ikaw naman yun, Lord, eh. Hallelujah. Amen? Who is the most patient? Who's, who do, who did everything patiently? Jesus. Walang, walang, walang bintis si Lord. Hallelujah. Amen? So in other words, oh God, when Paul said, follow the way of love, it's the same way as he's saying, follow the way of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And John said, anyone who claims to be in Christ must walk as Jesus walked. Hallelujah. Amen. As we stand ready, standing firm, trusting in the word of God. Hallelujah. Doing everything in the, in, with courage from the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, help us to do it in love. Empower us with your love. Hallelujah. Otherwise, it will not be done well. It will be done. It will be, it will be done, but it's not His will. Hallelujah. Amen. It, it's not according to His will, but according to us. Kaya, hindi nga medium well eh. Rare. <laughs> Hilaw. Talaga, hindi luto, hindi pwedeng kainin. Amen? It's poison. Hallelujah. Amen? Brothers and sisters in the Lord, actually, yun na yung conclusion natin. The very short message from the Lord tonight. But I believe the Lord is reminding the church, be on your guard. Hallelujah. Amen? Let's read that again one more time. Verse 13. 1 Corinthians 16. Be on your guard. Keep awake. Keep watch. Hallelujah. And standing firm in faith. Standing firm. You can only stand firm in the faith. When, when you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. When you put your faith in the word of God. Wala nang standing firm pa. Nahanapin pa. Yan lang. Hallelujah. Amen. And be courageous and be strong, trusting in the power and in the word of God. Hallelujah. And help us, Lord, to do it empowered by your love. Hallelujah. And so tonight, I, I pray that the Lord has blessed you. The Lord has spoken in your heart. Brothers and sisters, be on your guard. Hallelujah. We are entering a time of so much darkness. Akala mo darkness na to, no? Pero hindi mo kalain nga eh. Lord, darkness na nga to eh. Yung pala may darkness pa. pa paggrabe ng pagrabi, paggrabi kapatid. That's why the, the, the word of God is so timely and it's so relevant for me and for us today. Lord, truly, help us to stand guard, watching and waiting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, thank you for your word tonight. We pray, O God, indeed, that we keep on praying and watching, O God, so that we will not fall into temptation, Lord. Strengthen your people, O God. Awaken us, O oh God. Hallelujah. 
oh, give us more hunger for your word. Lord, let's, let there be a thirst, oh God, hallelujah, in the hearts of, of your people today. Kauhawan, Panginoon, na hindi kayang punuin ng kahit anong bagay, Panginoon. But kauhawan, Panginoon, sa presensya mo, Panginoon. Hallelujah. Oh God, bigyan mo kami ng kauhawan, Panginoon, na ang kayang pumuno ay ang Panginoon lamang. Hallelujah. Kaya Lord, tonight we run to you. Feel us, oh God. Feel us, Lord. Hallelujah. We're hunger. We're hungry and thirsty for more of you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let us be a reality in our lives every day to stand guard and to stand, to stand firm in your word. Hallelujah. And let everything that we do, we do it for the glory of God, empowered by and sustained by your love, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for your word tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen.